What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to talk about the possible event rewards from this year's anniversary event. But before we start the video, do you have problems AFK grinding in ROX? Do you always worry that you may overcharge or the battery of your phone, tablet, or laptop may overheat? Do you worry about your electricity bill when grinding using your personal computer that is running for days non-stop? Or do you encounter intermittent connection from your internet service provider which disconnects your character when AFK grinding? Well, if that is the case, then UG Phone can solve all of your problems. UG Phone is a cloud phone that runs independently in the cloud and it does not consume the memory or battery of your physical device. Even if you close the UG Phone app, your game will still continue to run in the cloud which makes this the perfect phone for AFK grinding for 24 hours, 7 days a week non-stop. Nice. You can also run multiple instances of UG Phone in one account, which allows you to play and grind multiple games simultaneously. As you can see, my Shura and Royal Guard are AFK grinding at the same time. UG Phone is available in Google Play for Android, App Store for iOS, Windows Store for PC, and you can also use a web browser to run UG Phone. So if you want to try out UG Phone, you can use my link shown in the description below. And you can also use my invitation code which really helps me out. So thank you guys and thank you UG Phone for the sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. So yesterday, ROX posted in their official Facebook page the voting results for the events that the players want in the upcoming 3rd year anniversary. Based on the results, the event that the players want for this year's anniversary is a free gold card event. Now, for me personally, I'm a bit surprised about this result because if you ask me, I would rather have a new collaboration event than a free gold card. That's so true! Actually, this free gold card event is not new at all. This was already an event in last year's anniversary, and I am pretty sure that I made a video about this and why this is not actually a good event. You can check out the video in the link in the description below. So first and foremost, if the free gold card event for the upcoming anniversary is the same as last year's event, then you can easily get the gold card album for free. Just make sure to do all the event quests to get the corresponding event materials to redeem the album. However, with ROX, there will always be a catch when talking about free rare items. Like in last year's free gold card event, it may seem that they are just giving away a free gold card to players and it is true. But there is a catch to that. And the catch is that you will only get a random gold card from the album. What? You heard it right. The gold card album is not a selection pack as it will only give you a random gold card. Are you kidding me? So basically, getting the gold card is free and easy. However, the chances of you getting your desired gold card is slim. Aww. I'm going to use last year's event as an example. In the card album, there were 14 gold cards available. So if you wanted to get the Orc Hero card, you only have a 7% chance to get it. And that 7% chance is very low. Aww. That is why I didn't even bother getting that album during the event. Instead, I opted to get the progression materials in order to fast track my progression. Yes, sir. Now, some of you might be wondering, if you didn't get your desired card, then why don't you just sell the card that you get? Well, it's because the cards are bound and you cannot sell them in the exchange center. So your only options are number one, to either use the card even if you don't need it, number two, deposit it in the card awakening or number three dismantle the card to get mvp coins so again this will be up to your discretion on how you want to handle the card now going back to the topic there is still a chance that rox might change the mechanics of the event especially since they haven't formally announced it yet and as mentioned in their post they are still taking all of these suggestions into consideration so there is also a chance that they might not do this event at all in the upcoming anniversary. But at least now, you guys have an idea on the upcoming free gold card event. 
Just remember, even though it is free, it doesn't mean that they will give you the item that you want. It's a prank! <laughs> Moving on to the next one which is the reward that players want for the 3rd anniversary event. Okay, this is quite interesting because the option with the highest votes is the gold weapon selection pack. Now, we should take note that the option says selection pack. This means that we have the option to select the gold weapon that we want. This is quite interesting because this is the first time that I've seen ROX giving out a gold weapon in an event. So I don't have any idea on what the possible mechanics are for this event. One thing is for sure, this will not be an easy event especially if they are giving out a selection pack. Uncle Roger said now. I'm just hoping that the event will be fair to all players, especially to F2P. What do I mean by that? I'm hoping that there are no paywalls in this event because that is mostly the problem that F2P players encounter. Like in most events in ROX, there are items or mounts that F2P players can't get because there are paywalls in their way. So if ROX really wants to reward all their players fairly, then I hope that there are no paywalls for the upcoming anniversary event. Although this is just me and my wishful thinking. Let's just wait for the official announcement in June for the full details of the event. Next on the list is the rewards that we want for live streaming events. I'm not entirely sure what these events are because this question is quite broad and may have different meanings depending on the point of view. Are we talking about the reward that the players can get when they watch a live stream of ROX? Or are we talking about the reward when a streamer gets when he or she goes live while playing ROX? Again, this is a vague question and may have different meaning depending on the perspective. So I guess, we will just have to wait and see what these events is all about once ROX posts more event details. Last but not the least is the rewards from offline events that we are looking forward to. I think this was already an event last year as well, where players can go to a specific location where the ROX truck is set up in their country. Once you get there, you will get refining vouchers as a reward. I think there were more rewards when you get there in person, however, I may just have forgotten them. And that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on the possible rewards that we can get from the 3rd anniversary event? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more ROX content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. GG! You're a superhero.